uh, good morning everyone thank you so much for watching my youtube channel today we are going to talk about uh, tesla so what's going on with the tesla guys tesla uh, reached the resistance which is 1 to 213 yesterday and uh, i will show you the why what why is why 213 is a huge resistance on tesla and uh, let's see the discharge because uh, before I jump the other charts, which is always very accurate. So on the daily offer here, guys, you see Tesla uh, is very, very extremely bullish over here. Very, very extremely bullish. This is the first time in a while to see Tesla pushing like this. And this Tesla started from 171 on my chat here you see tesla had a, a banana ship which is very important and also we can conclude that tesla still have some room on daily yeah on daily even weekly which is i'm going to show you right now and also i'll show you why i see there is a huge resistance on uh, on other jets guys uh, i'm always using several jets so uh on weekly here you see two weeks uh, or a three or a two three weeks of consecutive tesla Tesla has been uh, very, very, very foolish on weekly here. And uh, you see of even McD here is telling you Tesla can't start it. But is it going straight or is we, we have some uh, uh, red week which is coming? So on here, when you see the chat here, we conclude that it's getting started. And uh, even the monthly here, which is I'm going to so like this chat is different. The other one is showing Tesla on a, a huge, huge breakout. Even here, when you see Magdi, Magdi on Monday has not shown you a bullishness. So still see that deep, but uh, this is telling you like two months. Uh, the red on Magdi is fading, which is showing stock is almost. Uh, on a good way so uh let's go to see the <coughs> this, this is what why i'm saying uh there is a resistance so when use on simple moving average which is has been very accurate about the uh, for a long time for me i use for uh simple moving average to say uh long term on a Tesla or any other, even a BTC, anything that. Uh, we have this uh, hit the resistance today, which is if Tesla it will be continuous, guys, from here. You see this moving uh, lines of moving. Averages, so you see, even some past months it was faking out, but stock is still coming down. So, what does this mean? So, this means if there's a little we need to go to, to be bullish today, they are going to report the, the, the deliveries. We need to overnight Tesla to push and stay above. 220 so in fact if tesla will push overnight 220 and stay this month in fact guys if yeah, yeah let's say let's say if uh, tesla close this month on july above 220 will turn everything to be bullish but maybe uh, one day two days or two weeks will bumping up there and then go down that, that means 
we are going to have some lex lex here because that's some weak, there is a weak which stay above there and there is a weak which is fed so that's why on on long term tesla uh, above 215 it has a huge resistance so but now you see on weekly now on simple moving average btc uh, no tesla is already breaking out and uh, if this will be validated so we can have another uh, this week to close above two, 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 six or two ten or whatever then next two week we need to go up up to building by end of the july we need to above 230 so that the the monthly will be turning bullish but the monthly this uh, is there i can say monthly is only a resistance weekly daily is one of the best bullish on tesla yeah guys that's what i'm looking for so i always watching long term short term sometimes can push and then and then like you can see something like this people say the, the stock was just squeezed and then it came back so it's happened a lot uh even like a came stop you saw came stop we had some resistance and then the stock was just squeezed and then later they dipped because it didn't uh, on monthly it didn't uh, you see here this is why what happened guys this they called short squeeze to push something from a very strength to be a bullish you see they were <laughs> they so squeezed and then that you see that he pulled back above that simple moving average on monthly he opened the tune above here or he will close above that area and then on july right now we are above 23 which is best best on uh came stop so that's why guys maybe this will something will happen like that to short squeeze and then close uh on monthly above the resistance which is on a symbol moving average so i was giving you some examples we have a lot of examples stocks which are squeezed maybe three days four days and then it came back to the below the resistance and then start moving sideways so are you bullish on tesla are you think tesla is going to be pushed this week if they beat the deliveries yeah so guys there is a, a lot of debate about tesla right now and any other uh uh if stock or most other stocks so that's why i'm looking and also the raffian the region also I was watching region is approaching uh resistance on monthly yeah it's approaching uh resistance on uh, monthly so let's see uh region over here so region it has some fuel on uh, it has some gas and if uh, region want to push region can push above 18 dollars where we it touches last month even will push more than 22 dollars and then we'll go to hit back of the resistance and then uh, if everything will validate it will be open on august but this thing's guy by september uh, or october 2025 is going to be the best time for ev stocks so right now we need to be like to break on this weekly candles guys thank you so much i don't have much to say today so take your time and uh refuel is getting started on, on here my chat here refuel is pulling it was off of the pant that's why it's moving sideways before resuming uptrend next week guys thank you so much see you on uh, next video bye